For a while now, I've been interested in custom mechanical keyboards, but I never felt like they were different enough from normal keyboards to justify the high price tag. This all changed when I watched Ben Valak's video about the Gergoplex, a 36 key split ortholinear keyboard. Ortholinear, by the way, means that there's no row stagger like traditional keyboards. This actually improves ergonomics because your fingers move up and down, but not as easily left to right. After going down the rabbit hole, I decided to build the Ferris Suite, a 34 key split ergo keyboard with a pretty aggressive column stagger. Unlike normal custom keyboards, I had to actually order the PCB off of a PCB printer, which I use JLC PCB in this case. I ordered the rest of my parts from mkultra.click. The switches I used were kale chalk silvers, which have an actuation force of 40 grams. For the controllers, I used nice nanos for wireless connectivity. After assembling, creating my own key map, and using the keyboard for a few months, I have a few comments. First, for the cons, it's kind of a pain to get used to. When I started, I was only at 4 words per minute and had to basically relearn typing for a few weeks before I was up to speed. Even then, it also takes a while to memorize the key layout and all of the non-alpha keys. I think I'd probably have benefited from a larger keyboard, like something like the Ergodox or the Iris. That's actually kind of the beauty of the build though. The most expensive components, the Pro Micros, can be repurposed in the future if I want to uh, print a new PCB and put new switches in that. So as I refine my workflow and find out what works for me, I can benefit from this modularity a lot. ZMK also lets you make really complex macros, which can really help with your workflow. You can even create keyboards that are custom designed to your hands using software like Ergogen. More specific pros with the actual keyboard itself is that it's really comfortable to type on. I can see how keyboards like this could prevent RSI because you really don't move your hands much when on the home row. Since it's a 34 key layout, every key is actually only at most one key away from the home row. The wireless is also great since I can connect up to five devices to it at a time. The keyboard's also just a great conversation starter because of how weird it looks. I'd recommend split ergo keyboards to anyone who really cares about ergonomics or just wants to build a really unique custom keyboard. However, I would recommend that you go a bit larger than I did because you can always use ZMK to try out a smaller layout if you want to try that. Let me know if you liked or disliked the video by hitting that button or leaving a comment. Also, let me know if you want more keyboard content. I learned a lot about ZMK and Nice Nanos and I found that there weren't many videos about that online. Anyway, that's all for today. Catch you in the next one.